Moses has been called out to help the Israelites in their battle, and as long as he keeps his hands raised to the Lord, the tie goes in favor of Israel. And as soon as he tires and lets his hands drop and no longer has them raised towards the Lord, the tide, go, the tide of the battle turns against Israel. So he needs to sit and have his hands supported by Aaron and her. And we can often find ourselves in a similar situation being mowed down by the Amalekites, uh, by life, more or less. Uh, sinfulness, our own defects, circumstances that surround us, um, all that can afflict us. And it's quite easy to forget, even though we're sitting here and we've repeated it five or six times, that, as the psalm says, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And we can actually even repeat that. Repeat that back up to me. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Well, that's just great, wonderful. Okay, and we can go on with our lives, but I think we need to reflect a moment and say, hang on a second, what did I just say? And do I believe it? Our help is in the name of the Lord, okay, who made heaven and earth. He made heaven and earth. There is nothing more powerful and there's nobody more powerful than the Lord God. He made everything that exists. His pure goodness, how likely is it that he's not going to give us the answer that we need? So we need to make, our, make sure our hands are raised constantly and have that faith that this is no ordinary God. This is a God who made all that exists in creation. And as long as we're petitioning him, the battle is going to go in our favor. But we have to petition him because God is a gentleman. God is a gentleman. And if we say, Lord, ah, I'm not going to bother today. I'm not going to raise my hands to you because, you know what, I'm pretty good by myself. And he's going to say, well, I would really like to help you, but I respect your decision. So we have to keep that faith more, very, 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 very central in our lives, very much at the front. Seek ye first the kingdom, first the kingdom of God, and all we will be added unto you. So our hands raised, and if we need the help of Aaron and her, well, so be it. That's why God gave us a church. That's why God gave us community. So let us rest in the Lord, find our strength in the Lord, and find our strength in the church that our Lord founded.